Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video is composed of things that I tinkered with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the links in the comment section below. This video should contain tips and tricks of things that I've learned throughout the year. Now, I only plan on leaving this video posted for about 30 days. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Good morning, everybody. I am in Michigan. Tonight, I will be on my way to Columbus, Ohio. I will spend a couple of nights in Columbus, then spend a night or two in Cincinnati, back to Columbus, and then the, this weekend coming, I will be in the Chicago, Illinois area. Friday afternoon, Saturday, part of Sunday. Then I will be heading probably back to the Ohio area uh, the following Monday, a week from today. So, don't forget, Facebook is a very poor way to communicate with me. Check out the pamphlet, Covered in Snow. It's best to use WhatsApp or uh, just your phone messenger or just call me. So if you want to do a meet and greet, need some help, need some consulting, I'm here, just a little cold. Had to take a break from my cylinder head. Here's my brother-in-law's Lexus. He's got a problem with a headlight going out on him. So it must be some HIDs. He's got a bad ballast. They're going to have to fix that. This car has a ripple in it. Looks like somebody rubbed it with a bumper or something. I don't believe that ripple was in there before. Does look like it have HID, so he's going to get that fixed. The dealer that sold him the car said they were going to fix it. Actually here to work on the Jag. You all may remember that the Jaguar has a rattle in the engine when you start it or shut it down. I believe the timing chain tensioners are bad primarily on the driver's side the US left hand side so I got a kit to properly do this hold the timing and everything down however I don't have time to do all that I was going to do the secondary chains in the tensioner hoping that would solve it but all I'm going to do is the tensioner since I'm trying to get a town I'm out of time uh, so look at the video on how to take the valve cover off put it back on last time I took this cover off it was stuck and it broke the cover so anyway I'm going to do the valve uh, cover gaskets again since they are already leaking from the last time the last time if you check my video in the comment section they were the Victor Rain's gaskets and they lasted about four years almost maybe three three or four years at any rate they need to be changed again and I think this tensioner is loose on this driver's side I'm gonna try to inspect the uh, main chain tensioner while I'm in here so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up when I have the cover off you can go ahead and look at that in the comment section on how to get the cover off. Press for time so I'm not going to refilm all that stuff. I got the cover off and I was expecting some slack to be in this chain. However, the chain seems pretty tight. Now, the tensioner doesn't really seem to have a lot of tension on it. So, I'm going to go ahead and replace that tensioner anyway, but I kind of am starting to doubt if that's the problem on here. I'm going to try to see the primary chain tensioner, which I don't really see. And it feels like there's just a little bit of slack on that chain, but... I can't see if that tensioner is bad or not. Oil should be coming up here lubricating this. It is compressing. Maybe that's it. 
when I jerk the cover off, two of the bolts for the cover fell down. I see one of them there. Don't know where the other one is. I gotta find that to put that back on the cover. Some of the other videos that I've seen, as soon as they took the cover off, they had a lot of slack in this chain, which I don't see here. At any rate, I'm going to put a couple of zip ties in this uh, chain here. And I have the tools. I'm going to try to adjust the uh, timing on here so that these uh, flat spots come around on here let me get the tool out according to the instructions you put this on the secondary chain like that and you rotate this thing clockwise until your timing is adjusted man that thing is super hard to move I don't know if it's supposed to be that hard but let me try it with two hands. I couldn't even move the timing. So I'm assuming you're supposed to put a half inch tool in there and breaker bar and roll this timing. I couldn't. So I'm just gonna put zip ties in the chain where it is. Take these bolts loose so I could take the cam out and replace that tensioner. I'm hoping that tensioner is what's failing here. It seems tight right now. So I'll do this side, start the engine, see if I still hear the noise. If I do, it's probably something else. This looks like the metal style tensioner and not the plastic style. So it shouldn't even be bad. Let me put eight millimeter on there, take all these loose, and you can see the marks on them. Zero, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Facing that way, keep them in order. Again, I'm just going to replace this tensioner. So I'm taking this cam loose. I'm going to put a zip tie on it so that the timing doesn't change on the cam and pull that out. It's important that you put this in time, but if for some strange reason you don't, like I did, not. You want to make sure this cam sets down just the way it is coming out so I got this lobe right here pointing right over top of the head also I'm gonna pull these seals out because I'm replacing these the oil well seals held up pretty good <clears throat> then I'm gonna clean the surface off but let me lift this cam up a little bit <clears throat> dang it don't feel like it's gonna come up and then I'm going to sneak this from under here. Take these two screws out replace this thing. Try a little bit on this to get this thing to pop loose. Didn't see that in none of those videos. So hopefully this thing will go back in easy. It hadn't been running a while, but it was tight in there. So let me move this aside. Take these two screws out. And get this thing out of here. Still seems pretty tight to me. This is bad or not, but it was making some noises. Goes down pretty easy. So let me get the ones out that I got, see how they compare. Look pretty comparable. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing down in here. I don't know why it's got this here. I'm going to check see if the other one has that same thing on there. But I don't see any marks or nothing on this thing. Ah, this one's quite different. This one must be for the other side. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's for this side. Let me get this installed and back together. For the cam, I put some oil under the journals before I set the cam down. Then I put a lot of oil on top of the cam before I put the caps on. You could use engine assembly lube or use a lot of oil. You don't want that dry. 
So, cam looks like it is exactly where it was before. I'm going to go ahead and cut these two zip ties that was holding the chain. I'm going to pull that pin out. That should let tension on the chain. And should be good to go. Hopefully those tensioners, that tensioner is doing the right thing. All right, let me cut these off. Then I'm going to clean the cover surface off, get it ready for the new seals. And you could watch that video putting that back in. Now on the next uh, side, I'm going to replace this secondary chain as well. Went back in with the OEM Jaguar gasket set. A lot more expensive, but it'll probably last at least 10 years. This is the side, the part number for the driver's side. Ends with 285. Now I'm going to put the seals in these six holes, load the screws in, set this thing in place, and screw it down. The well seals has a pointy end and a fat end. I'm putting the fat end out so the pointy end is going into the cover like that. Seems to hold well. Don't know no other way to do it. Seals that go here and here. I put them in the same way, the smaller end into the cover. Now I'm going to put all of these seals around the bolt heads, get those started. Let's get maker at the joints. Everything is clean and dry, tight, torqued, ready to slap my cover on and get that tightened down. I have everything together. I'm going to see what coolant I lost and drop that back in the bottle. Clean up my mess and start the car up. See if I hear that rattling noise. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.